Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome back to the Raising Ayanami Project. Um, so, uh, I've got some uh, Evangelion related things I want to talk about today. But first of all, before we actually plan our schedule for next week, our uh, fatigue, which is the red one down the bottom, is actually kind of high. So we might want to give Ray a bit of a rest this week. Let's go to town though and see what's going on over there. Probably nothing. I don't, know, I don't have to get that magazine this week, do I? You check, you check at the end and beginning of every episode. Yeah, well, I really want to make a friggin' otaku, so... Let's go to the park. Oh, hello, it's Kensuke. What? Kensuke? What are you doing here? And I'm doing something. Oh, that's weird. I think he's pretending, he's pretending to be a friggin' army dude and uh, I've got an operation going on, I've got to go. What a fucking loser. What is up with that guy? I don't know. <laughs> God, I'm glad we're on the same page, right? Anywho, so, let's, while we're making, while I'm making my schedule, actually I can't do two things at once, so, <laughs> schedule. Here's what I want to know. Okay, Saturday I want to do Tiger Practice. I'm thinking I might give her Wednesday off. And then just go to school for the rest of them. Just got another idea. We don't really want to get her uh, conversation skills up. Why don't school just naturally do that? I feel sure school will just naturally do that. Okay, well, I'm happy with that then. While we're going through the week, we will uh, talk about my theory. So, here's the thing about Evangelion, right? You know at the end of the TV series, the last couple of episodes, where it's all like Shinji's in this, I guess it's like a musical rehearsal room at like a school, and he's going through the instrumentality project and uh, analyzing different people. And, and at the end, he's like, I don't want to be here. And he cracks it open, breaks free. And yeah, and everyone says congratulations. Right? Remember that part? Well, what if the entire anime was actually set in that room? The entire anime was actually instrumentality. Think about it. At the end of at the beginning of the last, second last episode, where, well, at the end of the third last episode, after he's killed Karo, and they're, they're standing, I think Masato and, and Shinji are standing over the, uh, the big crater, and Shinji's like, oh, Karo should have survived, he was better than I, and Masato's like, no, no, you're the, the one who has the will to survive is the one who should survive, or something like that, right? Um, and then that scene is sort of different, but kind of repeated, Oh, look, she's writing stuff on the board. Good for you, right? Um, uh, in the beginning of the next episode, the second last episode, uh, but then it's Masada disappears, and then it begins instrumentality. What if, because that that scene, that particular scene that I just mentioned, was very abstract, very surreal. So maybe the whole anime was made up. Like, at the end of the last episode where they do the alternate reality thing, that was very realistic. Like, it seemed very realistic. But it was shown that it was just another alternative, you know, history that could have passed. So, what if the, the entire events of Evangelion, the series, were just Shinji going through instrumentality, and he was just going through instrumentality from the beginning? Doesn't make a lot of sense considering that Shinji knows uh, like characters like Masato and Rei and, and Oscar, particularly Masato because they're talking to each other. But mm, maybe this is all just a weird dream in uh, Shinji's head. Well, the truth is it's all just a, a dream in freaking uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hide Hideaki Yano's head. True, more like a nightmare, not a dream, but whatever. I'm around, my friggin' fatigue is really high. Really sick. So get, if it gets too high, then uh, what's gonna get sick? Where you get sick? And her, her actual appearance changes, but that hasn't happened yet. 
Anyway, so we're going through the simulation. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts about that is. I mean, there's been a lot of theories like how the rebuilds are maybe a continuation of the series. And and of course, I, I'm on the personal belief that things like the Gothic of Steel 2 alternate reality that's shown at the end of the series is a canon reality in the fact that at the end of Evangelion, um, at the end of End of Evangelion, uh, it sort of breaks off and new worlds are created from that continuity. Kind of like Shimigami Tensei in the, in the Persona series. It all just breaks off, but it's all real. Every every different version of events is is correct. Alright, so, I don't know, yeah, well, the, what, the third and the fourth one, which I've got, I've got what they mean here. The third and the fourth one. The third and the fourth one is physical and reaction capabilities, respectively. Will defense is the fifth one, which is at 70, 73. Intelligence is 78. And knowledge vocabulary is at 92. So she's pretty smart. She's not that strong. Maybe and what's the what's the first green one? Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's curiosity. I don't think that's really necessary. But responsibility seventy nine. Uh social skills, that's pretty important, is eighty two. I think that needs to be above a hundred for her to start becoming friendly. What's the one that's 101? That's uh, self-awareness. And morality is almost on 100 as well. Which one's sensitivity? That's the very bottom blue one. The bottom blue one? Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's at 60. Get that really high and then she becomes a freaking otaku. Although we gotta... There's, there's a there's a plan. We're gonna we're gonna do this in a, in a particular order. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, that's pretty much that's all I really wanted to say about Evangelion this week. Um, of course, I'm gonna check this the shop next week, so I don't even know why I'm bothering. You really just need to check. You wrote down on your computer the date that you need to pick up the friggin' magazine. Oh, hey, Masato. If you just like looked at it before you recorded, there'd be no problems. But whatever. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'm not sure what Masato's talking about, but anyway, let's save the game. And yeah, when we come back, we'll uh, do another, uh, do another set, another week in the life of Rei Ayanami. Raising Rei Ayanami, rather. Uh, yeah, but um, but we'll just we'll just get the saved. Right. Uh -huh. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.